I think the Health Care Act will definitely survive the new Congress. The Republicans simply don't have the votes in order to do a full repeal. They don't have control of the Senate. They certainly don't have a filibuster um, majority, uh, much less a simple majority. And so I think you're going to see House Republicans bring it up on their symbolic act. That's why a lot of them got elected. But they don't simply have the votes to do it. In fact, this is uh, really part of, um, a, in a historic context, we've seen this before, where Truman and Johnson and other presidents who um, have seen uh, in their midterm elections, Republicans come in and under the idea that we're going to repeal and undo, and they've almost never been successful at doing that. And so we have a ratchet effect in public policy, and we're, we've ratcheted it up, and it'll bring in the Republicans, but they're not going to be able to do much to bring it down. I think the provisions of the health care bill that they will claim is the um, the ones that they dislike the most are, are, are certainly the mandates. The mandates just strike people as big government and uh, just kind of the wrong thing to do in terms of a, a free and, um, uh, society and, um, and certainly in terms of um, the f free enterprise and all that. The mandates why they're there is because you don't want people dropping their health care and then just getting the cheap insurance when they get sick. And so the mandates are really part of a larger package. And so they can't just undo the mandates. If they just somehow were able to undo the mandates, and they don't have the votes to do it, but if somehow they could, um, that would actually be disastrous because that would be an enormous adverse selection problem. People would just drop their insurance and then get it right when they need it, and that would be incredibly costly. And so it's either they would have to somehow undo the whole package or do nothing, but they don't want to just um, touch the mandates. So what we mean by mandates is that people basically are required to buy health care or face significant penalties if they don't. So for all practical purposes, people would be almost crazy not to buy health care because it would be uh, just too expensive. Or, uh, of course, they get it through their employer. So the mandate is that I can either prove that I got it through my employer or that I, I have to buy it. Um, otherwise, they face a big tax. So Congress has a lot of tools at its ability. To the extent that something is mandatory spending, they can't really touch it unless they actually change the law. And so things like Social Security and man, uh, Medicare are what are called mandatory spending. And the Health Care Act, for the most part, cover, comes under mandatory spending. To the extent that there is some discretionary aspect, what they call discretionary spending. So that's things that like on roads, roads is discretionary, and um, some education programs. Um, then they could try to deny funding of that. But that's going to be very few parts of this program. So in, term, in terms of the Republicans' wish list, you know, candidly, especially if we're talking about the House Republicans, what they would really want to do with health care is really just to zero out the bill, I mean, just to undo it. I don't think that they're, um, there's a lot of parts of the bill that they, they really support. And again, I, it would be dangerous to, just to do un, um, some parts of it and not other parts. And so you, you, it's either all or nothing. Some additions that they would like to see on top of it would certainly be uh, curbs and malpractice. Uh, and it, that's going to obviously be a traditionally has always been a very tough fight. Uh, the U.S. has very high malpractice rates because um, uh, quite frankly, lobbyists uh, who are in favor of it are very powerful. So in terms of what the elections mean for the unemployment outlook, I, I don't think it has a big impact either way. Um, it's mainly a monetary policy um, issue at this point. The impact of the federal government um, is going to be fairly minor at this point because the debt that currently exists has, has already been produced and it's, there's not going to be much change going forward. In terms of entitlements, the Republicans, in theory, are supposed to be the guys who are saying, you know, there's a massive problem on the, uh, it used to be on the long horizon, now it's pretty soon. And, you know, they're going to try to um, curb the growth rate of those, of the growth of those programs. And if you can curb the growth rate, you could have a big impact. Um, 
quite frankly, I think uh, that's still going to be a very tough fight. And if Republicans push too hard, they, they, they're going to fear uh, a big backlash if any perception of taking away benefits targeted for old people. I, I don't see uh, a lot of the Dodd-Frank bill itself being reversed, but the Dodd-Frank bill is really just an apparatus for lots of additional regulation and, and discussion. The Dodd-Frank bill creates an outline. It doesn't actually um, uh, impose a lot of the rules. And so I actually view the Republican um, uh, control of the House is probably a negative thing when it comes, and I say this as a former pl political appointee as a Republican, um, I, I see it as uh, probably a negative. And the reason why is because I think consumer protection rules in the area of finance are simply too weak, and I don't see um, uh, the Republicans uh, really being um, uh, going to be very aggressive at uh, further consumer protection rules.